what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. So last time we finished up a mission where we had to take out a massive horde, and I mean massive. And then we come back and they've decided, hey, you know what? We're crazy, right? We're on the Ark. I have a mustache. My name is General Weirdo. And he's locked Sarah up in a cave that he's calling the Ark. And now she's not free because reasons. So yeah, that's what's happening. This is Captain Curry. Come in. Oh, here, we're Captain. trust level two. The Colonel has asked to see you. You'll find him in his chambers inside the Ark. The Ark. His chambers? If you go in from the main camp, past the first storage area, there's a passage off to the left. Okay, uh... I hate this game. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, ain't I... this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. Yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's a Mennonite or some shit. No, it's dancing. Wait, what's... Dance. Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. <laughs> yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, I like Weaver. At first, I was kind of iffy on him, but he seems like a chill guy. All right. Well, okay, maybe I won't kill everybody in the camp. I'll spare Weaver, but... Beyond him, everybody else is kind of crazy. Okay, uh, we Sir, have to go there. meet Come the in. Colonel. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out. Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant. Sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect. Water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Fun. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm gonna have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. Well, okay, that other project is us leaving. Uh, how far are we falling? Meet Colonel Garrett. We're gonna need some shotgun ammo. Burn shotgun ammo. Gonna need Molotovs. I'm gonna need it all, baby. I'm gonna need it all. Give me everything you got, crackhead. You don't like what you see, just ask. Mmm, I'll be sure to do that. Okay, this is the highest grade weapon I've seen in the game. It's a, a, a five, whatever that means. It's a special forces condition weapon. I, I mean, it's a sniper, so I don't really think it's gonna be that much better than what we already have. Oh shit, uh, the Eliminator? I, I need this in my life. Amendment rights, am I right? A good deagle? Gotta get it. Okay, we have other weapons we could... Oh, wait. Chicago Chopper? Okay, what would that replace? My primary weapon or what? Honestly, I think I prefer the LMGs because they just have so much firepower and so much ammo capacity. You could pretty much use your uh, focus. I keep calling it time manipulation, but you know, focus and shoot through zombie heads, especially when they're chasing you. Uh, it's sort of like playing Call of Duty Zombies. You could train them to chase you around in a circle and then you blast their head off. But for the sake of this episode, let's go ahead and pick up the Chicago Chopper? Or should I go with this? Huh. Let, let me check something. Hold up. Uh, okay. Um, How can I check my loadout? Inventory. Uh, okay, it doesn't... Oh, here we go. Okay, so I have a shotgun. That's a, a mil spec. This is also mil spec. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Why not? 
and get the best shit on Wizard Island. Okay. I mean, that sounds hey, like something a crackhead would say. They'll shoot your eye. I get the best shit on Wizard Island. What, really? Do I inject it or smoke it? <laughs> Why not both? And can I afford this? I can. Well, hell yeah. Let's hey, do it, baby. That's some hardware. Huh? Just saying. That's some hardware. Just saying. I oftentimes inject heroin into my butt. It feels good. Let's oh, grab a frag grenade. Regret it burning a hole in your man purse or what? All right, listen, buddy boy, calm down. You sound like the type of guy that would be very annoying at a sports game. Okay, I think I have everything yeah, okay. I need. Let's peep the new uh, weapons. Ooh, we have the Eliminator, the Chicago Chopper, and now the sniper rifle, which I seriously doubt this thing is going to be useful, but uh, I mean, I, I guess it's better than nothing. Oh wait, the Deagle replaces my SMG? Uh, oh, and I dropped my two big weapons on the ground too. Yikes. Okay, do I really want to do that? Uh, what does that replace? Okay, it replaces the sniper. God damn it, hey, I don't know, guys. It? I got it. Locker. Ah, what the hell? Let's do it anyway. Screw it. I know it's probably a really stupid dude, idea. Gotta be something. To uh, oh, did it not work? My it's probably shit. a stupid idea to use this a sniper rifle shit, over a you. giant LMG that can lay down endless amounts of ammunition uh, or, or bullets. But uh, you know what? Let's just do it anyway. Equip. There we go. Ah, come on, man. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get son, that voice checked out, my man. You have smoked quite a bit of something, and it has not done any wonders for your lungs. Okay, uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Uh, a good soldier. Meet Colonel Garrett in his chambers. Chambers, my man? That sounds like a king in a palace. Send the women into my chambers. Uh-huh, yeah, okay. This guy's totally psycho. 100%. Not a sane bone in his body. Actually, how do I find him? Do I have to go back into the cave? I think I do. It's very drafty in here. It smells like dust, wet dust, which somehow wet dust smells different from regular dust, but ignore me, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, we can't go that way. Uh, stamina depleted? My man, you have got to work on the cardio. You're almost as out of shape as me. I'm not saying a lot. I mean, look at me. I look like two stuffed pigs in a blanket. Damn, uh, sir, son! I was, you know, when I was young, we used to explore caves like these, looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes, thousands of years old. I like your room. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens, in the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was the soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I no. want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. Wait, so he broke into your chambers and decided out of everything in your room, he wanted a copy of the Bible. I find it very hard to believe someone would risk their life for just a Bible, but I mean, then again, what do I know? And now we're back in the light. I still don't understand the weapon situation in this game. You're telling me that during an apocalypse, nobody would come up with the idea of making Mad Max vehicles, flamethrowers, insane weapons, air guns, I mean, you have to know ammunition is scarce, right? It's the goddamn freaking zombie apocalypse. You're not gonna find ammo lying around all over the place. I just, I don't get it. But then again, maybe I shouldn't get it, right? Uh, where's my bike at? He's got chambers. I can't believe he calls it his chambers. How does a guy that crazy manage to recruit a militia camp like this? Like, how does he rally these people around him? Incredible. Uh, oh, Colonel Garrett. Ha, saw, dude. What's up, man? 
Job in progress. Oh, okay, well that that's cool. I will just hop on my bike and go uh, do the thing you want me to do. Now that I finally have supplies, I can finally do my job. Okay, I think I have a really, oh my God, oh, a really long ride ahead of me, so I'll be right back. Oh, standby boys, I just remembered I have thousands of bounties oh, I can turn in. Nice to see you. Hey, Sergeant, still breathing, I see. I have 2,278 right. credits. Damn, that was a Hope lot of credits. John, you take care now. Sergeant, stay mm -hmm. safe. You too, sweetie. Every place has to have one. The sassy lady, the sweet, but also, you know, really strong. Okay, uh, <laughs> here comes the bike. Let me dive into the dirt. Gotta love it. I'll be right back. St. John, you there? Weaver, yeah. I can barely hear you though. You're breaking up. It's this damn cave, man. I'm surprised the signal gets out at all. Hey, I know where you can find an MP3 player. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Where's that? I was at a refugee camp at a community college when it got overrun. Community college? Uh, the one east of here off Highway 97? Yeah, that's the one. Home with the fighting platypus or some shit. Yo, anyway, when I bugged out, I left everything behind, including my tunes. Oh, shit. I gotta go. Radio me when you get there. Weave out. All right, well, you sure, Weaver, whatever you say. Whoa, whoa, okay. I was about to say we get to try out the new sniper, but screw that, I'm out! You know what, no, no, no. I got a new gun, I'm gonna try it. Actually, let's go with the Chicago Chopper. Yeah, I'll go to Chopper. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Whoa! For an SMG, it ain't bad. It does work. Okay, I can work with that. Come in, O'Brien. I know you're on this channel. Drifter, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again. The radio's been dead. Yeah, I turned it off. Look, I need your help. I'm listening. My wife, the woman you helped me track down. I remember. I found her, O'Brien. She's alive. That's incredible, the odds of her making it out. No, I, look, I don't have time. Look, I found her, she's alive, and she's being held by I, uh, the militia. The guys that you told me about. I'm sorry. Okay, look, I don't need your goddamn sympathy, I need your help. She's being held in a place I can't get to her. I need you to help me to break her out. You know I can't do that. Wait a second. Okay. But there's something you have to do for us first. You name it, I will do anything. Keep your radio on this time. I'll be in touch. Okay, O'Brien. O'Brien? Oh, damn it. Typical O'Brien. You know, Deacon. Oh, oh, shit. Oh! Yeah, yeah, that's right. You run. You run, coward. Drifter, are you there? O'Brien. Oh, okay, where the hell have you been? Meet me at the coordinates I've just transmitted. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien. Oh, oh, Jesus, he's. Damn it. Um, what I was gonna say is, uh, I don't, I don't think. Oh, peeled his cap back. I don't think uh, Deacon should be so harsh with O'Brien. St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, what do you sir. want? Corporal, good, yes. Another traitor was discovered in our midst. A spy working for the anarchists. Anarchists, again. Yes, you remember. He escaped before he could be apprehended. He was chased north, but our patrol lost him. I've marked the position he was last seen on your map. We need him alive, Corporal. We need to find out what he was doing here, how much he knows, and what his group wants. Yes, sir. As do we all. As do we all. Dismissed. Yo! Man, this gun does work! In case you guys are unaware, this is that psycho bear that won't go down. Oh, uh, this sniper rifle is amazing. I am full mast right now. Whoop! This thing is incredible.
This is Ricky to Lost Lake. Come back. Yeah, Ricky, what's up? Ricky? Boozer! Can you hear me? Think of the Lost Lake camp. Come back. Just uh, checking in to see what else Addie needed. She. It... God damn it, Ricky, I don't know. Oh, Iron Mike said. Boozman! Ricky! Well, give him hell, Boozman. Give him hell. Huh. What I was saying from before is I don't think um, Deacon should be so mean with, with O'Brien. O'Brien is the reason we even found Sarah, and he hasn't done anything wrong. And now we know that Nero wasn't responsible for the zombie apocalypse. I mean, I don't actually understand their correlation, or not correlation, their relationship with the apocalypse, but they were there right after the apocalypse broke out. But then again, they were also trying to help people and evacuate people, and they had refugee camps. I don't know exactly how it works, but I don't think O'Brien is the bad guy, and I don't think Nero is the bad guy. We already know Sarah's laboratory and those people caused the apocalypse. Or rather, the whistleblower did, so... Again, don't be mad with O'Brien, bro. You know, don't, don't treat him like scum. It's not his fault. He didn't do this. Uh, find Weaver's MP3 player. Okay, let's go ahead and do that now. I like how we have to find an MP3 player as if there weren't millions of smartphones and MP3 players lying around. I know for a fact there's more cell phones finish burning out this nesting zone. and MP3 players than there are humans on Earth. I mean, there are so many, but still. It's a rare commodity, here. obviously. Say, John, all right, man. Uh, hey, I was housed in some kind of tent. It was like right in the middle of camp. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? I mean, come on, these all kind of look the same. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, 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 it was near a flagpole, a big one. They're flying the good old stars and stripes. Flagpole, you say? Uh, all right, well. Oh, I'll I see it right look. there. Say, John, out. Here they are. It's gotta be it. Oh God! Here's the nest. Oh, I forgot. Please there's there's up. birds here. Not just birds, but crazy crows. Okay, maybe I can hide here, and they won't come and chase me. Or worse, fly into my face and peck my flesh away. Oh. Okay, that 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 would be a a, a small horde of zombies, or is it a large horde? I don't know, but I've got an idea. Boom. Fire in the hole! That literally did nothing. I'm not gonna lie. Compared to Weaver's Molotov of Death, this thing really is nothing. Uh, okay, let's throw a hand grenade right there, right there, and right there. I am running out of supplies rapidly. Oh, wait, can I craft one of these? I can't, but I can craft a pipe bomb which is sort of good, but not amazing. There we go. Do I have one of these? I don't. God damn it. Boom. Boom. Okay. Oh my God, there's so many of them. And I've got new skill points. Okay. Um, I haven't shown you guys me buying skill points because it's kind of boring and because I suck at uploading videos. But uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go with uh, survival. Yeah, I have not upgraded any of this. Uh, generate less noise when moving. Nah, that's boring. Increase the range of survival vision. Ah, that's also boring. Damn it. I mean, I'm not really a survival type guy. I'm more of a go in and burn everything up. Increases projectile penetration for ranged weapons. Uh, headshot kills recover health. Okay, that could be useful. I will gladly take that. And we are out of points. Um, I think I should probably run away. You know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Hello, boys. Follow me. There we go. I love manipulating time. And I really, really miss my big boy gun. Yeah, I, I really miss my big boy gun. This thing is not even a fraction as good as the other one. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so I, I think we've learned a very valuable lesson. Running in there like an idiot, like a chicken with their head cut off, is not going to work against these zombies. Because they're a little bit more, I don't know, faster, tougher, crazier. So uh, let's try and use the old cranium. Let's try and use some strategy, as much as I hate using strategy, to take them down. 
Also, there's another one of these Nero uh, research stations, whatever they're called, which means there's also potentially more upgrades I can get. Okay, the horde's over there. There is no way you know I'm here. One duck, 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 duck. Duck, you idiot! I think I'm okay. Okay, let's go around. Get the hell out of dodge. Um, I don't think I can craft any of these big boy mollies. Yeah, I can't. I need a growl or whatever that is. A rag, kerosene, a polystyrene. Yeah, I definitely can't do that just yet. I can't even make... Are you kidding me? I can't make any pipe bombs? Okay, we need to find scrap so I can craft everything I need to kill these guys. It's a horde. Oh yeah, listen, Weaver, I got your MP3 player and I have to take down 10,000 zombies in a horde to do it. I hope you're happy. Oh, what's that? It has the wrong type of music. Say that again. Okay, so I'm up here, just a little ways off from the horde and I'm looting up so I have the proper materials that I need to craft everything. Ideally, I would have one of these big boy mollies because, well, we saw last time, it, it did a lot of work. I think it single-handedly, along with the distraction device, took out half of a horde. And that was not a small horde, that was a whole ass horde. It was a horde party, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and loot up, find all the supplies I need, and then, fingers crossed, I can get that MP3 player because it's an essential item to survival. Oh, hello, what's over here? Apparently there's something I can find. Maybe it's down here? Oh! It's in here! Is it an MP3 player? Oh, I can't go in there. Fantastic! Seriously? <laughs> what? Th there we go, the invisible door! Ha <laughs> ha! There you are. Oh, I think we saw this uh, a couple of episodes ago. They drank poison and died. Oh. Yeah, so instead of becoming zombies, they would rather just die here. That is not pleasant. So wait, the game made me come all the way in here just to look at that. I was just trying to loot up. And um, I, I missed it last time, but it says, we, the undersigned uh, faculty and students, have chosen to die with dignity, and these are all the names of the people that decided to die in this room instead of obviously being killed by zombies or turning into them. So that's sad. That's really sad. Also, I am so confused. I'm trying to figure out how to craft this, but I need a growler. The only problem is, what the hell is a growler? I don't know what a growler is. Really? Invisible door? Seriously? Let me try and kick it open. Boom, there we go, invisible door, goodbye. So uh, yeah, let me get back to uh, looting. Hold up, oop, I found it. I found a growler. The hell is a growler? That is the weirdest name ever, but I don't care because now I can craft one. Yes! Okay, we have a mega, mega napalm bomb. That is beautiful. If I could find just one more, that horde would be donezo. Like, actually, all I would need is one more. And that would be icing on the cake. I don't think I'm gonna find it though. Oh, I did. I found another growler. Ha ha ha. Oh, these, I need kerosene, are you kidding me? These zombies are gonna be so dead as soon as I find some kerosene. Now, come on, kerosene. You're usually all over the place. You are unavoidable. All I need is one little tiny amount of kerosene and I can make a giant bomb. So, uh, show yourself. All right, guys, listen, stop. I know you think you're tough zombies, but I, uh, I'm about to have to deal with an entire horde. So there. please, leave me alone. Okay. Oh, wait, did I just make a mistake? No, never mind. Okay, here we go. The horde's down there. I thought I shot like one of the uh, scouts of the horde and they were all gonna come running, but no, crisis averted. Goodbye. Yes, let's go, baby. I found kerosene. Oh, this is indeed a glorious day. We've got two napalm Molotov bombs. And uh, I mean, I don't have a pipe bomb. All I need is scrap though to make that. So I think I can find scrap somewhere. 
Either way though, I think we have enough supplies to take out the horde, or rather most of the horde. I have to compensate for my little SMG that does nothing. I want my giant LMG of death back. It was way more effective at taking hordes down. This little dinky thing, I mean, it might be better at taking down, uh, oh, another one of the growlers. Whatever the hell a growler is. It might be better at taking down smaller zombies, you know, maybe stronger zombies, but uh, yeah, horde, no, not even close. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. I have everything I need to obliterate this horde. I mean, last time, I took out a horde without even dying. So this tiny horde should not be any trouble at all. Oh no. Uh, where did they go? You're telling me I just did all that work, all that work, and the horde isn't even here at night? Are you serious? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I've got supplies for another day. I can't believe that. I just spent like an hour looting up, getting all the supplies I need to obliterate an entire horde, and they're not even here? Man, I, I, I feel, I, I feel gypped. I, I, I really do. Here, here it is. And I found the MP3 player. This trouble, Weaver. You have got to be kidding me. It's fine, we'll find a horde again and kill them, but I, I can't believe I did all that work. All that goddamn work because I was gonna take out the horde and now there's not even a horde. Oh, I'm so I'm stupid. Yeah, time to light it up. It's fine, okay. Let's get on the bike and take the very valuable MP3 player back to Weaver. Hello there. Boom, goodbye. Hey, oh, don't, don't break your knees. Oh, nice, okay. Been working on the legs. Huh? Hitting leg day every day. Nice. Okay, uh, let me ride all the way back to the camp and I will be right back. All right, all right, boys, I'm back. Hey, Weaver, I got your MP3 player. Funny story, there was a horde there and I kind of went and scavenged for supplies hoping to take the horde down and then when I came back, they were gone, Ugh. man. That's a pole. Don't crash into a deacon, you terrible driver. So yeah, I hope this uh, MP3 player was worth all of that work, all of that time. You're welcome. And if it's all Justin Bieber music, that is on you. I'm not going out to find new music. That's on you, you gotta do that. A short while ago, I stood here before you and grieved for the loss of Captain Jimenez, our only doctor and my very dear friend. And for what great purpose did Captain Jimenez perish? So that a drug addict a worthless excuse of a human being could get high. Jimenez died because he stood between a junkie and a bag full of narcotics. Yeah. 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 Amen, brother. What is this guy doing? I think you're on drugs, homie. I have taken steps to see that this never happens again. For their own safety, I have moved Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver into the Ark, where they will be under protective watch 24 hours a day. Who's he looking at? The call is going out. Any person who has highly trained knowledge and skills, skills that cannot be replaced, mechanics, engineers, scientists, medical personnel, are to be taken from active duty and removed to the Ark until this war is over. From now on, no one is allowed entrance into the Ark unless they are on special assignment and unless they are personally vetted by myself. There will be no exceptions. I am beginning to see, I'm afraid, that our enemy has never been the freaks. They know not what they do. Mankind, in all his state of degradation and transgression, is our true enemy. Keep a watchful eye on your neighbors. Evil surrounds us. Hey, I found one. I found one. Ooh, this guy right here, he looks suspicious. 
He he looks very suspicious. He's got his hands behind his back. You can tell he's he's hiding the palms. It's a sign. It's a sign. I've studied the human body and it, the, the subtle languages it speaks. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I actually saw an amazing mini documentary on Chris Watts, a guy that murdered his family. And uh, he has all these little micro expressions and hand gestures that just gave him away as the killer. He couldn't help himself. It's amazing how, uh, how much you can tell um, what am I trying to say? It's amazing how much you could tell whether or not someone's lying, telling the truth, inventing a story, whatever, just based on their body language. Body language, that's what I was trying to say. But my brain doesn't want to work. Okay, so uh, what mission do we have now? Return to Weaver. Ah, yes. Weaver's chambers. Nope, never mind. That's the Colonel's chambers. Weaver is in a cave. A very boring cave. And uh, he needs music to feel better. Hey, yo, homie Weaver. I got you some music, man. Some jams. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? I hope I you like K-pop. Oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. It's charged? Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need? Oh, yo, he's jamming out. He's gone. He's gone, Ooh. baby. He it's hasn't listened to music time. in two years. You want to do ones, man? Brother from another mother. <laughs> I like Weaver. I like Weaver a lot. He's the only sane one in this camp by far. Okay. So we got Weaver his essential tunes. And for some weird reason, it was charged. I mean, I didn't put batteries in it. <laughs> I have no idea why it was working, but hey, listen, it's working. And I've got another very long ride ahead of me. And we have a bounty hunter mission. Cool. Uh, I'm never giving up. Ride out to meet O'Brien. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Let's do that right now. I mean, I thought we had done everything that we were going to do with O'Brien, but I guess he still has some more stuff uh, he needs us to do. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Let's go ahead and fuel our bike up. And maybe I can get an upgrade. Although, I think I'd rather have new weapons hey, than an upgrade. Just saying. Right out with the Wizard Island Witch Let's the other fuel day. up. There we go. How'd that go? You mean... So eh, shut up. I don't have time for this. Uh, Later, bro. Uh, see you, man. See you, man! Bye, bro! Gotta go out and do some dangerous shit. Not that you would know. You have a comfy job as a mechanic. It's easy. They give you food, chocolates. I don't know what they give mechanics around here. The point is, he's got a comfy job, and I'm out here in the shit. It's no fun. Okay, uh, he also said, the Colonel, that no one could go into the Ark unless they were personally vetted by him, whatever that means. I'm guessing he has to basically see us as his best friend, which is not good if we plan on riding north with Sarah. I thought I heard radio chatter. Hello? Anybody there? O'Brien? Is that a cougar? It's a cougar fighting a zombie. Oh, several zombies, in fact. Have fun, guys. Okay, well, if no one's gonna call me on the radio, I am just gonna ride to the objective, and I will be right back. All right, all right, O'Brien, what do you have for me? And you know, as long as I'm gonna be riding out here where it's cold, perhaps uh, I can get some warmer clothing. Long underwear, double pair of socks, a nice fluffy down coat, maybe a sock cap, something. My nipples are hard. It is cold. Certain parts of my body so, uh, have gone up inside me. me O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, what, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks are mutating, mm -hmm. some faster than others. Uh -huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? Well, it's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone, outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. Easy. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> suck it. That's what I would have for my military. Just salute with the suck it. The tracking signal is coming from somewhere around Mount Scott. There's a cave. The subject you're tracking has a super elevated metabolism. We think it might be headed there. If there's something else we'd like you to check. We did send a team in. 
On foot. They never came back. Well, that's not Just good. Let me know if you find them. We got people here looking for some closure. So, uh, what else can you tell me about this freak you're tracking? We don't have all the answers. All we know is that the infected are mutating. We're talking about leaping past millions of years of evolution. We think they're communicating with each other the way ants and bees and other... You know, to me, sounds like a whole lot of mumbo-jumbo. Believe what you want. Once you see our test subject, you'll change your mind. O'Brien out. Why do I feel like I'm going to have to fight a mega zombie at some point? Even bigger than the, the brutes or whatever they were called, the, the steroid zombies? Good God. So if they're skipping millions of years of evolution, there is no way Sarah's gonna cure them. Like, it is impossible. They're not even humans. They're evolving into a whole new species. Probably something more deadly, more dangerous, more insane than humans. This is not good. This does not bode well for uh, humanity. I think we might be doomed. Just a little bit. Kinda, sorta. 100%. We're all dead. There's no chance of survival. I'm an optimistic person, aren't I? <laughs> not at all. Okay, let's try and not crash into the rock, of course. Well, this isn't gonna be fun. We're going in a cave. Well, Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. Freaker shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful. Yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. Ah, oh, we're going into a disgusting cave. Right. I guarantee it smells terrible in here. In here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. Okay, O'Brien. So while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. First weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty or the lack of it affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60 mostly were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who was exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know you keep saying that. What does that mean? means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. Huh. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. <sighs> yeah, well, I probably would. Say John out. Wait a minute, hold up. If I understand O'Brien correctly, he's basically saying the uh, the Freakers are evolving, they're mutating, they're skipping millions of years of evolution, right? So it stands to reason that if they're evolving and becoming better, at some point they're going to be better than humans, right? I mean, I don't pretend to know anything about science, I'm not a smart guy, but from what I can understand, I would say humans are more evolved, more advanced, better in every way than a fish. How was that? Oh, what the? Does this thing have hair on its back? Ugh! So that's the uh, the new zombie I'm gonna have to take out. Well, that's not fun. O'Brien, I found another one of your men. ID says his name was H.S. Patterson. <sighs> okay, thanks for letting me know. You didn't ask, O'Brien. Didn't ask what? If he was alive or dead. 
All their radios have been dead for 12 hours. I don't need to ask. Thank you for doing this. O'Brien out. No problem, homie. Get to him. Anything to save the wifey. Why do I feel like there's gonna be a massive horde down here waiting to rip the flesh from my face? It's not going to be pretty. I swear that's what O'Brien was getting at. The horde, the horde, the freakers are getting better. So there's no way that, uh, that Sarah could have ever saved them because they're evolving. Who knows? Leave a comment down below. I'm starting to think the horde, the zombies, are eventually going to be better in every way than humans. What? Look at that thing. What? It has hair on its back. It's ripped. Like, it's got the bod of someone that goes to the gym every day. This is not going to be fun. I know I'm going to have to fight it, and I'm going to scream and cry like a baby. O'Brien, oh, I uh, found another one. ID says his name was Robinson. Okay. Max, I'll let his family know. So, you guys have, uh, families. Managed to get them all out while shit was going down? I'm not going to apologize for being lucky or luckier than most. Yes, some of us got our families out. Not many, but some. That's just, that's so great. Oh, Brian, good for you. Yeah, we didn't ask for this. <laughs> yeah, neither did anyone else. Well, I mean, come on, Deke. You know if you had the chance, you would have gotten your family out. This is for sure a horde nest. I am ready for the worst. This is gonna be so bad. What if it's a horde of all new types of zombies that have hairy backs? Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm so doomed. I am so, so, so doomed. And I don't have my giant LMG. <gasps> oh, I'm so screwed. It's not even funny. Uh, can I craft anything? Okay, yes, I can craft a Molotov. Beautiful. Uh, stamina? Beautiful, thank you. The stamina, uh, pills, cocktail, it really is probably the most essential thing you have to have when you're taking down a horde. Oh, Brian, I found your last man. ID reads Cooper. He's gone. Oh, no! oh shit, no he's not. Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, uh, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot! We're stuck! He's down! Come on. Mm, he is messed up. Oh, Jesus. What's going on, Deacon? Cooper! His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no! <laughs> My suit's compromised. Your suit? Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? It was so fast. I didn't see it coming. Are you telling me that a freak did all of this? Reacher. Reacher? Reacher. Cooper! Oh, that does Cooper, not sound good. Jen? I can't believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, I can We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Go. Go. Yeah. yeah, he's not getting out of there. He's gone. I don't like the sound of a reacher. Anything that sounds exotic, or, or worse, sounds like something out of a movie, equals bad. Uh oh. Whoa, there it is! Watch out for the hairy back. Anything with hair on its back is terrible. Hmm. 
Wait, do I have to fight it? So what the hell am I dealing with here, O'Brien? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh, you are all types of ugly! Hey, listen, old man. I know you're a crackhead, but get off me! Oh, yeah, right in the stomach! You know what? 40 miles an hour. Oh, what the? You are fast! Yeah, it's strong. Maybe you should abort. Uh, abort? I'm not aborting. It is not that easy. You can't just abort. This isn't your fight. Where is it? It is now. Say, John, out. Where is it? Hey, Reacher, come here. Why does Reacher remind me of a Tom Cruise movie? I swear I've heard Reacher somewhere in there. Oh, mamma mia! Come here, you old crackhead, Grandpa. Friggin' crackhead! There we go. Get shot in the crotch. O'Brien. We have infrared. We can track the horde's movements. Take it! Guess you won't. <sighs> I hate when it cuts off dialogue oh, like Jesus. that. <sighs> Look at this old head, dude. Mm, you are ugly. Oh, oh mushy, What's squishy up, sounds. O'Brien, I got your samples. Oh no, I knew it was too easy. Are you kidding me? I knew it was too easy. <laughs> Shit, they're getting close. Oh, thank you for that yeah, urgent update. These guys off. Okay, uh damn it! I, I I don't have the proper equipment for this! I missed my giant LMG! Okay, uh we've got a, a tractor bomb? Wait, seriously? They they have those? Okay, well, you know what? I've got an idea. We have the big boy bomb over here, the Napalm Molotov. We're gonna use that for sure. Let's wait for the horde to pour in. Oh, there they are. Let's throw that there. Turn around, boys. Turn around. Yes! Yes! Beautiful, that's right, cluster up. It makes the carnage so much more beautiful. Now let's throw one of these. Actually, wait, maybe I should hold up. No, 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 let's throw it. Yep, there we go. I'm a coward. Ah! Woo! Okay. Wait, is that it? There's no way that was the entire horde. Oh no, there they are. Hey boys, fetch, fetch, F fetch, fetch. Fetch like a good puppy. Yes, there they come. That's right, boys, pour in. We're in. Take a nice close look. Really quite interesting. And I can craft another napalm molotov. I'm not gonna lie, this guy knew what he was doing when he made it. It does work. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, let's throw one of these down. God. That's not good. Wait, that's it? And they're gone. <laughs> uh what when I heard horde, I thought uh I thought a lot more zombies would be here. Yeah, that that was nothing. Okay, well. Yeah, that's that that wasn't really a horde as much as it was a small crowd. But still, I'm glad I had my little distraction device. That that was nice. And again, the Molotovs, the napalm ones, oh, they do so much damage. I love them. Jesus, O'Brien. You made it out. Yeah, I made it out, no thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. Well. That was fun. <laughs> I think I shit my pants. I'm not gonna lie, I thought the Reacher was gonna be way, way more dangerous. The steroid zombies, they're far more dangerous. They, they are way harder to take out. And then they do that Hulk stomp thing, the Hulk clobber. And it, it's just, it's game over at that point. He was nothing, Brian, he's an old crackhead. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit and you crawl back into blood. 
cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it takes to survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper. The others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did, didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted out. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Ooh. You know, Deacon, you really do give O'Brien a lot of shit. I mean, he didn't do anything. Like, he hasn't done anything but try and help us. Sure, he, he wants favors in return, but... I mean, it's not like he's the bad guy. You're willing to put up an Iron Mike, a complete psycho, that let Schizo go after nearly getting us killed, not to mention the whole camp, but O'Brien, the guy that told us that Sarah was alive, where to find her, you're mad at him. Sometimes I just do not understand Deacon at all. Okay, so our next mission is all the way up here, part of the Bounty Hunter storyline. Locate the Anarchist. Oh, the Anarchist. I'm liking the names. Reacher, Horde, Freakers, Anarchist. After taking down a miniature horde and something named the Reacher, which again, for some reason, makes me think of Tom Cruise in a Mission Impossible movie. I don't know why, but uh, it shouldn't be a big deal. I think I could take down an anarchist. But back to what I was saying about the horde or the zombies in general, according to O'Brien, they're evolving. And that really makes me question if, it, if at some point in the future, they will be better than humans. I hope we can find a zombie that's lucid, you know, like a zombie that can contemplate life, philosophy, its own existence. Because as humans, I think we're pretty much the only species that can do that. Contemplate our existence, question life, things like that. Animals just have their instincts. Oh, I gotta eat, gotta have sex, gotta take a poo. So who knows? Maybe the freakers will someday be like humans, but only faster and better. But I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Okay. Just a short ride to go. Oh wait, the anarchist, is he the guy that uh, was in our place before we came? He went AWOL and uh, we're trying to find him. I still have yet to see a hanging. I am highly disappointed. I was promised somebody was gonna be hanged and it never happened. And I am thoroughly disappointed. Caution, Captain Curry tells me he was one of our best riders. If you let him get away, you won't be able to catch him. Do I Let's look scared? St. John out. Do I look scared? I'm the best goddamn rider in this area. No, in the world, in fact, because I'm just that good. Uh, what am I looking for? Okay, let's take a look around. Oh, here we go. A body. All right, where? You're mine now. Colonel, I've spotted him. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, there we go. Grab the supplies. Get on the bike. I hate how my bike is oh, always on. pointing in the opposite CPM direction. Area. Oh, never so mind. Okay. Bitch. Zombies, I swear to God, if one of you tackle me, I'm going to be so pissed. No, I don't have my SMG. Oh, what a bummer. I've got the Deagle. That's, that's not going to cut it. It's like a single shot. I got you. Well, semi-auto, but I mean, it's not the same thing as a machine gun. All right, listen, buddy boy, I need you to calm down. Stop throwing Molotovs. I know it's cold out and you're trying to warm everything up, but that's not going to stop me. It's not going to stop me, son. Bring me them cheeks, boy. No. No. Yes. No. Oh. oh, hold up just a daggum minute. I sounded like an old person just then. Okay, th this guy's got the moves. This guy's actually got some pretty damn good moves. All right, I will concede. You know what you're doing, but just Let sort of barely. Each. Oh, shit. Target escaping. Oh, shit. Uh, all right, I, who put that tree there? And the rock. My bike is so gonna burn up. Shit, perfect time. Okay, all right. Seriously? Seriously? Uh, Repair, come on, repair, repair. Fast, fast. Get on, get on. He bested me. He bested me because someone put a random rock in a tree in my path. I'm only joking, I crashed into it because I am terrible at driving. It's fine, we got him, we got him, not a big deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and repair our bike just in case he decides to blow us up. Let's go. 
There we go. And before I search this body, let me grab the supplies. Lovely. What's going on here? Nothing else around. Okay, let's search the body. Oh wait, oh, almost missed this, see? Sometimes failing is the best option. That's what I told my parents in school. Back on track. Colonel has spotted them. All right, buddy boy, I'm ready for you this time. I've repaired my bike, I've lined everything up. Come on! I'm, gonna make this I'm about to trap your ass. Son of a bitch! Come here! Come here! Oh, he's deep. He's got an SMG. Pop! That's right, baby, that's right. Bring me them cheeks. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't you dare. This is difficult. Go on, throw it. See what happens. Come on, Deacon, catch up to him. Boom! Boom! This is a Deacon. How is his bike not totally destroyed by now? I'm using a Deagle. I'm pretty sure the Desert Eagle shoots like a 50 cal round. One shot with that and his bike would be donezo. Oh, go to hell! Oh, bike. Oh. No. No. oh, what's the matter with your bike, man? It looks like it's smoking. Oh, okay, you know how it goes, shoot his tires. Shoot his tires. Got him. Oh, oh goddamn. sorry about that. You know what they say, smoking's bad for your health and for your bike. Oh, oh, oh. Stop crying like a baby. How you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Oh, you won't take me alive. And what are you gonna do to stop me? Did. Uh, don't matter much to me one way or the other. God damn the anarchists. Okay, well, <laughs> Colonel, that was easy. Got him. Transmitting the coordinates now. Good work, hey, Corporal. You can't leave me! The freaks! The oh, freaks. shut up. Stop Don't running. worry, you're gonna go back to the militia hey. camp and be hung. Hey. At least I hope so. I, I've heard about people being hung, but I've never actually seen one yet. A hanging, that is, so I'm starting to doubt if it's actually a legit thing that happens. Okay, we've got another skill point. Or rather, I don't. That That's odd. Okay, co cool. I thought I had one. Obtain samples of water hemlock. Oh, boy. I am everybody's errand boy. And they don't even give me anything. Like, I have to save up to buy weapons. This is pathetic. Okay, I am going to ride to the objective once again, and I will be right back. Oh, my God. Holy mother of Mary. Boom! That's right, I got a thick gun. At first, I kind of hated the uh, the idea of having a sniper rifle, but this thing does work. It just took out a rager with like, what What was that? Four shots, five shots? That is not bad, not bad at all. Colonel, reporting in. Did the uh, patrol get the prisoner? Corporal, I'm afraid not. When they went to retrieve him, he was dead. What, dead? Poison. Killed himself. We're not sure how. Boo! I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge he had about us died with him. Yes, sir. St. John out. Yeah, but see, I wanted to see a hanging. You know what I'm saying? Your boy wanted to see a goddamn hanging. Did I not get that? Hello? Game? Med kit, please. Now. Guess I have enough. Okay, so Hemlock. Uh, our first stop would be right here. Okay, this pretty much looks like a marsh. Let's go look. Okay, Hemlock. Poison. I do love poison. Although I think I should probably have protective gear if I'm actually picking up poisonous flowers yeah, or plants more. or whatever this is. More Hemlock, more Hemlock. Need more Hemlock. There's another Just one. a few more. I gotta find more. And another one. <sighs> that should do it. Oh, wait. We only had... Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought we had to stop at three separate locations. 
Well, we got what we need, so uh, I have another long ride all the way back to the base, which I'm going to do right now. And no, you can't join me because it is boring. Whew. And finally, after being tackled by a thousand zombies, I have returned. Trust me, you don't wanna join me on those long drives. It's not fun. It's really quite boring. And down this way. Oh, Sarah, I mean, Miss Whitaker, I've got the hemlock you needed for the poison you wanna make. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's very suspicious. It makes it sound like I'm hiding something. Which of course I am. I'm hiding simply everything. Oh my God, can you imagine having to stay in a cave? I would go insane. I have to see the sky, the clouds, nature. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. <laughs> I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. Well, thank you for not thanking me. As you were. Wait, what did it say? What did it say? I never what? Uh, okay, I really wanted to know what was on the clipboard, but I, I can't read that fast. Oh, maybe it said I'm never giving up. Oh, okay, uh, a good soldier. Help Sarah escape Wizard Island. Oh, yes, we're going to escape this terrible place. Thank God. Or we could do what I wanted to do, which is kill everybody and then take the camp. Which, uh, honestly, now that I think about it, that would be a brilliant idea because even though this place is kind of pathetic and it's not as cool as the, uh, the research place we went from before, I can't remember what it was called, Gloverdale or something like that, that place would be an amazing base. It has an electric fence, running water, everything, but this place has lots of supplies and uh, we need supplies, so yeah. What, what am I trying to say? I don't know, man. Basically, my protocol is, again, kill everything, ask questions later, take everything. It's not a great way to live. Either way, though, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until next time, peace out.